The human body requires a certain level of balance to survive. The term stress refers to anything that makes that balance harder to maintain or achieve. We need enough time to rest and enough time to be active. We need some stress to motivate us, but not so much that our system is overburdened with the high allostatic load of chronic stress. This physiological performance assessment focuses on investigating effective ways to detect and address the stress of variable shift work and precarious employment. A chief aim of the PPA within that context is to see how virtual reality might help an individual to understand and improve their health and wellness. In an effort to achieve this goal, physiological well-being will be measured before and after starting stress reduction efforts using information about heart rate variability, heart rate, sleep quality, and activity level gleaned from a Garmin fitness tracker. React will also be used. React is a virtual reality athletic performance trainer that provides feedback on reaction time, decision making, and hand-eye coordination. Mitigation efforts will be attempted through popular VR, meditation, and exercise programs, TRIP and Supernatural, respectively. National Labor Organization, precarious and variable work is increasingly commonplace globally. Work takes place in a world that demands the flexibility of employees and companies to meet quarterly goals and reach market expectations. These factors often lead to a decrease in stable employment that takes place on a fixed schedule. The result is a unique set of stressors and time pressures on employees caught in the maelstrom. Varied schedules and financial concerns create the need for improved coping mechanisms. Some of this is currently being addressed through wellness programs, although most employee wellness programs target regular rather than contract, part-time, or temporary workers. As a result of schedules that disrupt circadian rhythms and family life, many individuals may turn to calorie-dense comfort foods, alcohol, or sedentary activities such as binge-watching streaming content. Rather than reducing stress, these behaviors offer additional self-imposed stressors that lead to a range of health consequences, from heart disease to neurological problems and obesity. Disrupted sleep and stress are also major contributors to depression and difficulties in regulating mood. Finding healthier alternatives to these counterproductive coping mechanisms may lead to a healthier, happier society in the absence of policies that change labor standards. Virtual reality has been the province of simulation for some time. Its benefits have long been touted for the masses but never fully realized. The failure of VR to achieve widespread adoption is partially a result of the cost prohibitive nature of the devices and their technological limitations. Now VR is more widely available. Individuals have access to many health and wellness tools through devices like the Oculus Quest 2, recently rebranded as MetaQuest. These applications have been created specifically for virtual reality, which has shown promise in therapeutic settings through the work of individuals like Albert Skip Rizzo. It is particularly well received for its motivational aspects. As a relatively new medium, VR is still a space in which people are attempting to achieve technical capabilities, while certain usability aspects need to be investigated more thoroughly. Meditation apps and exercise apps claim to be built upon strong evidence. Even so, in the near future, the ultimate testing grounds for these innovations will be living rooms across the world. Restoring balance to anyone feeling stressed due to precarious work-life situations through activities that require additional time can be challenging. The American Heart Association recommends 20 to 30 minutes of moderate to intense physical exercise three to five times per week to maintain health. The breathing exercises and focused attention of mindfulness activities may improve the response to stress and emotional regulation. Still, as with many resolutions made on January 1st each year, 
it can be challenging to follow through on the initial motivation. The same can be said of exercise regimens. Virtual reality may offer some help in this regard.